Hi, this is Bob Maslin, Blade on the Home Seer Message Board, and today I wanted to go over BL Speech for Home Seer 2 and Home Seer 3. Uh, BL Speech is a probably one of the most complex plugins that I have. Um, BL Speech acts as a speech proxy um, and allows um, full control over speech in Home Seer. Um, user can um, enable or disable the speech proxy. Um, you can specify multiple uh, special processing tags which will be interpreted by the plugin. Um, proxy mode uh, allows for um, normal mode which is when you're home uh, and when you're uh, away you can set it in away mode. Uh, in away mode all speech is queued depending on the special processing tags that you pass in in front of the speech message. Uh, we'll go through the we'll go through the um, special processing tags um, later on. Uh, user can uh, specify the priority of a message using the special processing tags as well. Uh, can set up an unlimited amount of speakers and speaker zones, which can be triggered using the special processing tags. Uh, you can also set up an unlimited number of sound files, which can be triggered using the processing tags as well. Uh, phrase rules can be set up uh, to allow uh, you to perform an action on any message that contains a certain phrase. Uh, you can also view the high uh, priority and normal priority queues from the plugin. Uh, you can specify whether to log all speech activity to a log file and view and clear the log as well. And the number of days to keep the logs can also be specified. Uh, you can mute and unmute speech in home seer very easily there is a script command that will do that I run that every night and every morning to disable and enable the speech uh, you can choose how to show you can choose to show the last X number of speech messages in a device code as well um, you can also there is a dictionary in the plugin that you can set up words and the substitution for those words and when uh, that that word comes in, it will substitute whatever you put in in your speech message. Uh, there's also uh, home seer event triggers and actions that can be used in the plugin. Um, and the uh, the AB8 SS device can be used with the plugin as long as you have the uh, WAF AB8 AB8 SS um, plugin installed or my BL AB8 SS plugin installed as well. So let's um, let's get into it here. Let's start up uh, BL Speech. We'll go through the options first. Uh, the first option: um, when you first start this up for the first time, the plugin status will be unregistered. Uh, you'll need to click the register button beside it, and that will actually register the plugin as a speech proxy in HomeSeer. Um, and then from every start thereafter, uh, it'll already be registered. But you can unregister it if you want. Debug logging, very important for issues, troubleshooting. If you have an issue, come in, check this box, save it, uh, capture the issue, then come back and uncheck it and save it and uh, open a help desk ticket on my website and attach the blspeech-detail.log file which will be located in your home seer root folder to the ticket. Very helpful in troubleshooting issues. Uh, the speak proxy mode, there's normal and there's a way. Uh, normal mode is all speaking will be immediately processed as it is passed to the plugin from HomeSeer. Um, in away mode, uh, all speaking will be queued uh, depending on the queue mode selected. Uh, there's two queue modes. There's queue and discard. We'll, go into, we'll get into that next. Um, or any special processing tag that precedes the message text. Once the plugin is returned to normal mode, the queued items will then be processed in the order in which they enter the queue. Um, so for the queue mode, there's queue, which will all speaking will be queued unless overrode by the special tag processing that precedes the message text. Uh, this is only active. The queue modes are only active when the uh, proxy mode is set to away. Uh, if it's in discard mode, all speaking will be discarded. Um, none of it will be kept. So if you just want to ignore all speech when you leave the house, you can set it to discard mode, and it will just get rid of it all. Uh, number of seconds to wait for triggers to execute. You can put in whatever number of seconds there. If you zero is disabled, it won't wait. 
convert all text, um, all speech text to lowercase. So this is this will convert all of your speech text to lowercase before it is spoken. Um, mute speaking status. That's um, what we were talking about before. There is a script call, um, and there's actually an action as well for Homesteer action that you can mute or unmute uh, speaking in the plugin. Um, okay, event or script to execute prior to home seer speaking. This is I use this a lot for my um, to run a script that switches and does all sorts of stuff with main lobby for pausing my music and then switching the speaker switcher for the AB8SS. Um, very powerful. Um, so you can specify an event to do all that, or you can specify a script. I have a script that does all I need to do. You can check this box here if you want to wait for the script to finish before continuing um, and you can also set a delay so after the script runs it will wait this many milliseconds before continuing on with the speech um, same thing goes for after the speaking is done you can run an event or a script I run the script to actually um, switch the speakers back over to the music and then if the music is playing I unpause the music or unpause whatever was playing in main lobby. Uh, same options, you can wait for the script to finish before continuing and you can also set a delay. And the delay will actually wait before this method, this event or script is executed. So give it time to do whatever you need it to do. Uh, speaker client to use as the main speaking client. You can select one or you can set it to blank which will use all the speaker clients. Uh, ignore trigger processing for WAV files so if you pass in your speech is actually a wave file. You can have it ignore all those if you want. Um, AB8SS speakers return to original state after speaking. Um, if you're configured to use those, they will the plugin will return all those back to what they were before the speech started. If you have a Rust sound system, you can enable the integration as well um, by clicking this checkbox. Uh, return Rust sound, rust down zones return to original state after speaking. Same thing, kind of as the AB8SS. It figures out which state they're in and will return them back after the speaking is done. Um, default speaker or zone to use for all speech. Uh, you can specify the speaker or the zone. I don't have any set up, so it will. Um, there's none listed. Um, so you can choose the. Uh, that'll be the default speaker or zone that's used for all speech. Um, the chosen speaker or zone will be substituted into the speaker tag for all speech and we'll go through the speak we'll go through those tags those are the special processing tags uh, default volume level you can set one if you don't set one it'll just use whatever you have same with the default source this is only this is only um, valid for rust sound speakers so um, previous speech messages device code so you can set up a device code that will store X number and this is the X here 12 so I'm keeping 12 uh, previous speech messages in Z68 device code um, log to file this is the file that it's logging to and that'll be in your home seer root folder uh, you can turn that on or off you can set the logging level it'll log everything or you can just log the queued items um, the log view you have two options, all or subtitle. All will uh, will display from newest to oldest, and subtitle will display newest to oldest, but will be broken out in high and normal priority messages. And the last option was the number of days to keep activity laws, logs, so you can specify however many days you want to keep them. So uh, queues, queues basically shows you what's high priority and normal priority in when, when it's set to away mode. Nothing will show in here unless you're in away mode. So you can actually clear them, clear either one individually. If you're away and you, and you don't care what's in there, you could just clear it. Activity log shows you everything that is um, been spoke um, and what happened, what what the uh, uh, was the speech queued, was it uh, what the queue mode was and all that stuff when it spoke. These are the actual processing tags that I've been talking about. You put you put this before your message and it all gets processed. Some of these are default when when it's just in a normal mode. 
uh, let's go through the speakers and zones. So if, uh, you can maintain the speakers here. You can add a new speaker, put in the speaker name, whatever you want, what type type of device it is, um, the controller number. Now this uh, won't go unless uh, uh, controller number is for uh, if you're using a rust sound zone, um, and the zone or relay is for your rust sound zone or your AB8SS uh, relay number if you pick AB8SS from here. Uh, device code, you can specify the device code for this for your speaker if it's an X10 device code um, you can specify which device code you're using uh, and your switching delay so this is um, the delay in milliseconds um, for the switching and smart on will only turn the device on if it's not already on if you can it, it just a little it saves a little extra time I don't know how much it saves but I added it in anyway so that's adding that adding speakers you can go to view zones and this is for adding zones and you can all your speakers will show here and you can assign your your zones to speakers same with same vice versa you can assign your your um, speakers to zones as well so put in your zone name and any switching delay you want in milliseconds uh, just put in zero if you don't want one uh, that's the number of milliseconds to allow it to switch to that zone before continuing uh, let's see go into sounds this is where you can add in different sounds into the plugin for um, using them in the uh, special processing tag so you can put in a short name something unique uh, full path to the sound file the wave file um, cannot re-trigger for number of seconds uh, you can put zero to disable this is the number of seconds that must elapse between calls to this sound file for the sound not to be ignored so um, full control over your over sounds in the plugin uh, emails uh, we can add we can add emails to the system give it a unique name here uh, put in the email addresses multiple email addresses separated by a comma uh, put in the subject of the email and then specify the proxy mode either normal or away um, and this is the proxy mode that must be active in order for this email to be executed so if it's if it's in if you have it set to normal and it's in away mode this email won't be used uh, phrase rules um, the phrase rules allow you to um, give it a unique name here just, um, make sure you give it a name that, that's meaningful put in a phrase that any speech phrase um, like um, I don't know Xbox or something like that if you see the word Xbox or the phrase Xbox in there you can you can ignore it and it won't do anything with it or you can send it to the BL broadcast clients if you have BL broadcast installed um, you can choose to match the case or ignore case um, or you can disable this phrase from here as well. So it just gives you a little bit of, little bit of, you know, control over certain phrases in the plugin. Whether you want to, some people want to ignore certain words if if it's in the phrase, or it'll it'll just completely ignore it. Uh, voices it allows you to set up the voices that you can use for your speech, um, and you can set the voice in the special processing tag, which we will go over. We will go over that. Um, after we're done here with the voices and dictionary we'll go through the special processing tags uh, so you can add in whatever voices you want short name and it finds all the voices on your computer so you can if you've got more you can add in whatever I've got the uh, neo speech Kate and Paul um, set up as well but you could add whatever you however many you wanted however many you had on your system you could add in there um, dictionary dictionary I use quite a bit uh, for words that just don't sound right when they're spoke the way they are so for eBay I think it was eBay or something like that it was yeah it didn't make any sense so I set I set a uh, dictionary entry for eBay and this is what it will substitute it for in the speech so that it actually speaks eBay um, Humidex it didn't sound right is Humidex so Humidex actually sounds better than this did. Um, same with some other ones. So you can add in whatever you want here. Uh, the source is basically what 
what text you want to change and this is the target so um, the target um, allows you to do you can specify the target value or a BL random action BL random action will randomly return a value from the specified random group so if you put in brackets there BL random equals whatever the group is in BL random then it will give you a random value from that if you have BL random installed um, so it uh, gives you even more flexibility to randomize the target um, if you have BL random installed um, let's see so the dictionary that's the dictionary you can you can show the dictionary by whatever letter you want if you've you know ex dictionary could get quite extensive I guess um, and you can edit each one as well and change them from here you can't change the source if you want to get rid of it you can delete it uh, you can't change the source but you can change the target um, okay let's go through the um, one well the support form will take you to the support form on the form just like all the rest of the plugins all right let's go through these special processing tags um, this is allows for a lot of power in, in your speech the special processing tags allow the user to control how speech is processed by the plugin uh, the opening and closing tags are the squiggly brackets so um, tags are separated by a comma um, there's a few examples down here there's uh, an example there so what this will do is um, it's a normal it's a normal priority message uh, it'll use a speaker named master bedroom it'll set the volume before speech to 75 after it is spoken it will set it back to 100 and the mute in the Q mode is Q um, so you can set you know you can do whatever you want here's one with a sound file so you, it sets the speaker to whole house it sets the sound that you set up as your short name to my wave and the cue is discard so you can set whatever options you want here play around with them um, BL broadcast basically this will actually send a, a message it'll actually send this text to all the BL broadcast clients that are connected uh, here's one here where you can set the voice to Kate 16 so you can change the voice for certain text if you want or you can set the voice to random which will just pick a random voice and use it in the plugin same with email you can you can set the emails to how which ones you set up there um, change your speakers you know you can do all sorts of things the priority these are the tags you can use here priority is basically the priority of the speech message so you can put it as alert high or normal um, a high priority message will be queued into the high priority message queue which is executed first um, the high priority queue is always executed first when the speech proxy modes return to normal an alert message will be queued into the high priority uh, message queue and will also send a speech message to all BL broadcast clients if the plugin is installed so it, it it's basically a high priority message but will also the plugin will force it to be sent to all BL broadcast clients um, speaker this is a speaker or a zone name that will be switched on before the speaking message is spoken um, you must enter a valid speech speaker or zone name or the tag will be ignored if it can't find it it'll just ignore it you, know, you can also specify the speaker zone to be turned off um, by by doing this method here so you would set the speaker equal to my room and then a pipe and then off so basically it would switch the speaker on do the speech and then afterwards it would switch that speaker off for you so full control over your speakers um, same with sound uh, the sound short name will be played before the speech message uh, if you don't enter a valid one it will be ignored the volume is set um, so this is the before and after volume the after volume is optional um, so you set the before and after volume just like um, this one here so you always use a pipe so it'll set the volume to speak at 75 and then after it's done speaking we'll return the volume back to 100 um, if the volume tag is specified and no after volume is specified the plugin will return the volume to what it was before speaking the message so it will return it back to what it was but if you want it to be something different you can specify that 
the voice this is the TTS voice to use for speaking um, you can also like you saw use voice equals random and the plugin will randomly choose a configured voice in the plugin same with the email um, specify the email um, unique name that you set up and it will it will use the email um, for sending out an email source uh, source is um, mainly for rust sound type speakers this is the source number for the uh, to use for speech uh, you can set the Q mode Q modes are Q and discard uh, and there's a BL broadcast mode which is either you set it to the word all um, in lowercase or uh, the actual name of the client which is a case sensitive it must be case um, it must match the case of the name in BL broadcast um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, there's these special tags are are very um, very good for allowing you to control how your speech ha uh, executes, and um, it's uh, very powerful. I use it. I use it all the time here. So I would uh, speaking just wouldn't be the same here without BL speech. Um, it uh, allows for control over everything. Um, hopefully this, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this has been beneficial. Uh, I know this plugin is seems very complex, but once you get in and start using it, it's uh, I think it makes sense. Uh, I know um, people use it, people like it. Um, like I said, I use it every day, and it uh, works great. Um, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.